Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Hyper Drip by Fire Cornhole. I have received a ton of requests to review this bag. Finally got my hands on a set, so let's, guide, let's dive in and break this bag down. We'll start with the fast side here. This is the material we all know. This is that Game Changer Surefire fast side material. Same fast side you find on the Fire Incinerator and the Fire Vengeance. It's like an eight and a half speed material between eight and nine. I call it about an eight and a half. It's it's fast. It's it's great for pushing, collecting, sliding boards in any condition. So eight and a half speed on the fast side. Slow side. This is the unique material. I don't. I've never seen this material in any other bag before. It uh, fire calls it a six speed. It's a hybrid carpet material. Fire fire calls it a six speed. When I first got these bags, these bags come in brand new. They're pretty loose or they're they're just about ready to play. They're almost getting rid of the bag. It didn't take much to, to really break them in. When I started throwing them, and it played about a six speed starting out. I kept waiting for the bag to slow down. It never really slowed down much. So I think a six speed's pretty accurate. Maybe five and a half, but I'm gonna go with the six. That's what Fire says. I have no reason to disagree with that. So we're gonna call it about six, eight and a half speed on this material, or then the bag here. Template wise, it's a it, it's a medium template, but it's on the larger side. It, 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 it's a loose bag. It's a thin bag. It feels like a bigger bag than what it is. There's not a lot of fill in here, so you get a, you get a ton of flop. This is a very floppy bag. If you don't like floppy bags, you definitely want to stay away from this. But if you if you like a floppier bag, this is something you want to check out. Honestly, when I first picked this bag up and got it in my hand, it reminded me so much of the 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 template size and the fill and the flop of a game changer, like the original game changer, kind of that larger floppier bag. It doesn't have the square corners that you get with the game changer, a little more around it, but it's got that bead fill. I think it's 100% bead fill in here that you get with the game changer. It's a loose, like it's really just really loose and pliable material, very loose bag, very very thin bag so it has a, a ton of flop ton of movement even when i grab it and, and lock it down it still has movement. like I, I just can't get this fully locked down so again if you don't like a larger floppier bag this is not for you but if you like a bag with flop you like kind of a larger feeling bag this hyper drip is something you definitely want to check out which leads me into playability and one more thing these are acl pro stand for 2024 so you play an acl events these, these hyper drips are, are definitely a bag you can use so playability on this uh, let's start the, the first thing and i'll start the first the, the negative the big negative on this bag is the flop a, a lot of people don't like floppy bags and that's some people if you don't i just want to make sure you know it, it's it's got a floppy feel to it it's not going to have a fullness it, it doesn't it doesn't even come in new feeling for it comes in new feeling floppy so if you don't like a floppy bag stay away from hyper trip but honestly i i don't have a problem with the flop because to me the, the the advantage of the flop is is the forgiveness around the hole you know i talk about landing zones and those larger floppier bags have a larger zone to land it a lot more forgiveness you know you can miss your mark and still grab the hole and this bag does a great job if you're missing if you miss your mark left or right as long as you get that corner to grab that hole it's going to grab it spin around and come right back in it, the bags the bags just want to go in the hole you got this bead fill it just wants to drip in the hole if you can just get that corner to grab it's going to go in the hole there are several times where I threw a bag that shouldn't have gone in, that should have missed, and it grabbed and went in. It really shocked me. Cornhole is a confidence sport. I tell me all the time. The, the more bags you put in the hole, the more likely your next bag's going in the hole. This bag really does a lot. Of, does a great job of building that confidence because even when you miss, there's a good chance going in the hole. And when you miss, it doesn't go in the hole if you get it stopping short or on the side. The bags are actually very collectible. And, and I talk about a lot of times the larger floppy bags are not great for collecting because the accordion up, you know, they smash up. Like the, the Game Changer. The Game Changer is not a great collect bag. It's a great bag at getting around bags. It's designed to not go through, but go around. But this bag really did a great job of collecting. It reminded me of the Sub-Zero Winter Trap. If you watched that review, I talked about how that bag shocked me at how collectible it was. I didn't expect that. This bag's the same way. I didn't expect it to be able to collect as well as it did, but it was. So if I was able to throw a blocker, if I could slow this material down and get a blocker up there, I could get aggressive and put that blocker on my punt side, and then I could come across, and it didn't take much. I mean, I couldn't clip right at the corner. I had to come in a little bit more, but if I could just catch it and grab it, it wanted to pull the bag. Like It's just like these materials, this, this slow material just caught, and it wanted to just drag itself in. It didn't It didn't bully it out of the way and brought it and pulled it with it, and it really surprised me. So if you you know if you miss... If you miss to the sides, but you're short, the bag is not really out of play necessarily. It's still there. If you do leave a blocker, it's a huge bag. It, it just takes up a ton of real estate on the board, so it's going to cause problems for your opponent, especially if you're not used to pushing through. It's not great at causing bags to kick off because it's, it's not that solid. It's going to, your, your opponent's probably going to push through it pretty easily. But if, they, if they're if they not comfortable pushing through bags, sometimes just a visual bag there can cause them to make a mistake. Maybe they try to roll or airmail and miss it, and now you can get points off of that. So, it, you know, if you if you have the control or a little slower boards, you can definitely throw a blocker there. A few times I hit the dead spot and the bags kind of stopped short, you know, the level two, level three blocker. Had no problem collecting. This fast size, plenty fast to push through, slide it up there. You can really collect with it without having to throw that hard. The bags uh, do a great job of, of of not bunching the hole. Typically, larger bags want to bunch and clog the hole. As a couple times, I had two bags I had to push through and collect, 
and, 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 and each, each time I did it, the, the bags would push through and they would just munch up and they would just slip, slink right in and drop in. Never had a problem with the bags clogging. I don't really think I had an issue with the bags bunching. Uh, the other the other negative I see on this bag is the shot shape. It's not a great bag for cuts and rolls and flops. It, it, it's not the bag has this bead feel and it has a lot of bounce, a lot of movement to it. You'll see here when the bags are landing at times, they're not always just landing it flat. And it does have some hop to it, which gives it some kick. So if you don't throw the flats to the bag, the bag is going to kick. Now that does give you some control as far as cuts. I could throw some cuts with it, but the problem is in my hand because it, it was looser, I didn't have a lot of control. So trying to get that angle I needed to throw a, a good cut was a little tougher because just because I couldn't exactly control how the bag fully came out of my hand it, it did have movement on there so the cuts were tougher yeah if you're a rollback thrower if you if you're you know if you throw rollbacks all the time you'll have no problem roll this back but for the average to blow average rollback thrower it's not the easiest bag i think to roll because of just how floppy and how loose it is however that being said the bag has a natural movement to it so if you if there's a blocker there whether it's yours or your opponents that you want to get around sometimes landing in behind you could just get a, a slight angle on it and or slight back load or whatever you want the bag would hit. It automatically wanted to hop. You could almost bounce over the bag. So you're rolling. You could kind of hop, bounce over it, and leave it there and, and get around it. Whether, like I said, whether it's your opponents or yours, you could do that. Or, you know, if it's my blocker, I could throw a little bit of a cut and kind of, kind of sneak around and, and drop in. And because the bag is so great at grabbing the hole, it didn't take much of catching just the a, just a edge of the hole. It would spin around and come right back in. So, so who is this bag designed for? It's, it's not a traditional carpet bag. If you're a carpet bag thrower and you like to throw traditional style carpet bags, you're not going to like this bag. Fire has some other bags that are better for you. But if you're a fast bag thrower, but you're looking for a bag that has maybe a touch more control, this is probably the bag you're like. If you throw the fire incinerator, but you want a bag that's just a just a tad bit slower, I think this will work for you. If you're a if you're a, a player who who likes to throw faster bags, but you know medium to faster speed bags, but you have an accuracy issue, you're not as accurate all the time. You're a little off left or right here or there. And you want a bag that's forgiving. That's what this bag is going to do. It's it's going to it's going to make up for those mistakes when you're when you're a little just a, just a hair off and you're not hitting your mark every time. But you want to go hole for hole. This will be great for that. You know, if you you know if you want a bag that you can throw an occasional block every now and then, maybe a third bag blocker, play a dirty round here or there. That's what this is for. Again, if you're looking to play a dirty style game all the time, not the best bag for that. But all in all, I, I really liked throwing this bag. I was I wasn't sure I was going to like it. But I had a lot of fun throwing it. I put a lot of bags in it. It really, the bag really wants to go in the hole. So it, it builds your compass. The more you throw it, the more bags you put in, the more confident you get, the better you're going to play. And I like when bags do that. I really enjoy throwing bags like that. It leads me to availability on this. And Fire has a website, firecornhole.com. The bags were $74.99, $75. Taxes and shipping. It was like just right at, just over $90. $90 shipped to me for an ACL stamp bag that is on the cheaper end. It's not the cheapest bag, but it's on the cheaper end of price. It's, it's, and the Fire makes great bags. I've never had an issue with a Fire bag whatsoever. So, you know, for, it's well worth it. 90 bucks, you're getting a great bag for that. Again, if you don't like floppy bags, stay away. But if you don't mind a, a looser, floppier bag, definitely check out the Hyper Trip. If you've thrown this, I'd love to hear your opinion. Again, what you like, what you don't like. Always love it hearing your feedback. I thank you guys so much for support, and I thank you for watching.